Hello everybody, I'm Matt Thomas. This is Chad Schneider with the Altitude Group at Remax Northwest. So, did the market actually retract from last month? Find out next in this month's market update. Matt, as we forecasted last month, for the first time all year we saw home prices come down. That's not surprising though, as it follows the, tr the trend we tend to see each year after the springtime's home value surge. Right, if you remember from last month's market update, we call that trend market retraction, which basically means the inventory is going up while demand is starting to cool. And that curbs price increases as we're seeing from July's numbers. Now, throughout the month, just over 5,300 homes sold, 3% lower than last year and 11% lower than last month. Year to date, sales are just 1% lower than the 2017 figures. There was also a slight decrease in the number of homes going under contract. Throughout the month, contracts were placed on nearly 5,700 homes, a 1% decrease from last month. Right, and as we mentioned, the average price of a home saw month over month decrease for the first time this year. In July, the average sales price of a home was just over $478,000, 2% lower than last month. Still, the good news is, and this is important not to lose sight of, when we compare it to July of 2017, home prices are still up 7%. Right. The average price of a single-family detached home is slightly higher than $528,000, up 7% year over year. Prices of condos and townhomes are up 9% from last year at almost $348,000. So here's a stat I find rather interesting and important. The count of active listings of homes for sale is the highest we've seen since August of 2014. In July, the number of active listings reached just over 8,000, 11% higher than last month and 25% higher than this time last year, well over double the amount of available listings that we saw in February of this year. Yeah, we now have seven weeks of inventory, two weeks more than last month, yet half of the homes sold in July were still on the market for less than approximately one week. Diving into those numbers a bit deeper, the three hundred dollars to $500,000 price range continued to see the most activity, representing 50% of all sales and 50% of all new listings. Yeah, we think you should know that demand still remains relatively strong in July with 82% of new listings um, that came on the market resulting in a sale. So when looking at median days on market, homes did spend a little more time on the market compared to last month, and yet half the homes uh, on the market below 800,000 sold in less than two weeks. Yeah, not bad. It's interesting to see how the numbers have started to change from the steady sea of increases that the market had enjoyed for the first half of the year. We're actually starting to see some real opportunities for home buyers as price reductions become much more common and interest rates are still relatively low. As always, we know everyone's situation is unique, so please give us a call to discuss how the real estate market impacts you. We'd love to hear from you.